Looking for a game for family fun at Christmas? We've got just the thing for you. Hi, I'm Libby, this is Julian, and together we are Box Meeples. And today we're going to talk to you about gingerbread towers from Descent Games. So, you know what the situation is. You've had your Christmas dinner, you've watched the king, he's made his speech, you're sitting down and you want some family fun together. Well, gingerbread towers is what you're looking for. It's very simple to explain. You're laying folded cards down to build a tower of sweets. The first person to get to seven points of their allocated sweets wins. And unfortunately, if you knock down the tower, you lose and everyone else wins. It's a fun, familiar kind of game, but it's got a new Christmassy twist. Yeah, this uh, game is obviously based on a gingerbread house, so all of the sweets on the different cards have those sort of classic Christmas sweets that you might put onto a gingerbread house when you're decorating it. And you are choosing from ones that have been folded three times, so they have three different sweets on them, so they might give you more chance of scoring points. Um, there's also ones that have two sweets on them, and then the flat ones which are only ever going to give you a chance to score one point, but do create a new layer, so you're going to have new spaces to to build on so it's interesting when you choose to lay what different shapes what you're trying to score and and catch up with people because you kind of want to force someone else to have to play a flat card because mm -hmm. you know that's not going to point them as many points as you might be able to get but sometimes the timing just doesn't go your way and obviously the structure itself has to be relatively secure so you're not too worried about the whole thing collapsing <laughs> I mean, we've all seen the Towers of Cards in the past, but this has got, as Libby suggested, a level of complexity in it, which makes it more of a kind of actual game. You're trying to work out which cards are you going to place and then which cards are you going to draft. Bearing in mind you've got your scoring conditions mm. and that, you know, you're going to be picking a card that will leave someone else not able to get one of their scoring conditions. Yeah, and when you're drafting those cards, um, at the, to replace your card, to either choose to take something that's great points wise to, for you or take something that you suspect is going to be uh, helping your opponent to score points and you want to just take that away from them, that option, there's, there's that choice there as well. So it's a simple game to explain but as we sound, it's got a certain amount of legs and longevity to it. So yes, you can sit down, gather around the family, maybe someone's had two, one or two many Christmas sherries, they're still <laughs> going to be able to play and in fact maybe their coordination will be slightly off and to make it a level playing field with adults and children. This is certainly the kind of game that you can pull together gamers, non-gamers and have a little bit of Christmassy fun with. And if it's something that you're interested in, do head over to Crowdfunding to have a closer look at the campaign. We will of course have a link in the description below. And the good news is, if you order straight away, you'll be able to be playing this this Christmas, so you can gather the family round and build your own gingerbread towers. And this is the first time you've seen Libby and I. We are Box Meeples. We post a YouTube video at least twice a week, and we're always talking about board games. If that's the sort of thing you are interested in, as well as gingerbread towers, head on over to YouTube and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to like and comment to this one. Do you like the idea of a gingerbread tower? And as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye.